In a previous module, we looked at steady state heat transfer in a tubular pipe. Now we will look at cases where you have multi layers in cylindrical coordinates. Again, uh, a common example is pipes uh, that are conveying either uh, heated or cooled liquids are often insulated. So we have situation then of a steel pipe covered with insulation which will have then two layers. So we will first recall that for a single layer pipe the rate of heat transfer QR was equal to 2 pi LK Ti minus TO divided by natural log of RO over RI. This is what we obtained in the previous module and by using the um, thermal resistance concept, the resistance due to conduction in a single layer pipe was RC for thermal conduction uh, resistance. Uh, in the numerator we have natural log of RO over RI divided by 2 pi LK. So now let's go ahead and uh, draw a cross section of a pipe uh, which has got two layers. So we have uh, this inside of the pipe and the thickness of the pipe and then some other layer which could be for example insulation. Uh, we have the inside temperature is T1, the outside temperature is T3. These are surface temperatures. Uh, so the outside surface temperature T3 inside surface temperature T1 and we will also show the radius so for the inside radius for the inner pipe is R1 and for the outside radius of the inner pipe is R2 and with the outside layer we have the outside radius as R3. So note again that the temperature limits are temperature T1 to T3. We have let's say material A which is the inside which could be for example a steel pipe and material B is on the outside. So what we will do is uh, draw our thermal resistance circuit and that circuit will begin right here and where the temperature is T1 it will end at temperature T3 and we of course have the inside wall so we have one resistance depicting the inside wall so we'll call that R thermal resistance for the material A and another resistance which is for the outside material RB. So now we can go ahead and write down the individual resistance terms so Ra will be equal to natural log of R2 divided by R1. Note that uh, it's for material A and for material A the outside radius is R2, inside radius is R1. And uh, so in the denominator we will have 2 pi LK and K will be for the inside material which will be Ka. Similarly, we have the second resistance Rb which will be natural log of R3 over R2 divided by 2 pi LKB. And with those two resistance terms, uh, note that they need to be added uh, because we are the heat transfer is from this inside surface to the outside surface. So for our equation is Q equals the uh, temperature difference T1 minus T3 that presents the total temperature difference uh, and in the denominator we have the two resistance terms so natural log of R2 or R1 divided by 2 pi LK A plus natural log of R3 or R2 divided by 2 pi LK B. So this is our expression, final expression, that gives us the rate of heat transfer in radial direction when the inside surface temperature is T1 
and uh, the pipe has got a layer, another layer on it and the outside surface temperature is T3 and then the two resistance values are shown in the denominator. This e equation can be then solved to determine the rate of heat transfer uh, under steady state conditions.